Hello everyone. If in case you are rendering in ARCHICAD, maybe uh, release uh, 22 or onward, you will you can achieve such effects, uh, especially the linear light effect and the glow effect. So I'll just try to brief out the few things very quickly. But remember, to get a better detail uh, knowledge about this, it's uh, always better to follow the help file which is provided by the Archicad site. So anyway, let's go and try to quickly start our session. So to study this example, I've just constructed one room and which is packed from all the six sides. So uh, if you just go and check out this 3D view, this is the basic, what you can see, object. And uh, I have set down the camera for the internal view. And now let's try to place few lights and see how we can make the effects for the linear light. Now to work for the linear light, you can just go inside your lamp tool. And there in your general light sources, you can work with the area light. In the area light, you can make sure that the type of the light which you are going to select will be area shape and here you are going to work with a linear line so remember when you click on the line automatically few settings will be inactive but few will be activated also which i'll show you now the length of this overall lamp uh, or the light source which i right now it is 100 so it's too tiny so i'll just try to make it somewhere around about uh, say 2500 okay now remember that thing which you see over here may be very much uh, what you can say unclear because of the pen number. So here I am going to change the pen. So there is an option known as a show elimination in 3D and all this thing. You can check out about that. I am just going to change the pen number which is comfortable for my current display need. So that's it. So you can see now at least it is much better or visible. Uh, later in this. Again, you just have to keep on going ahead and at the, uh, this visible light effect, uh, remember you have to keep it on, but I will keep this later once I will just quickly render without visible light and then later we will talk about the visible light also. Now the placement of the light from the current, uh, what you can see from the story, which is 1500. So for a while let it be. I'll just say OK for this and I'll just try to place this lamp somewhere over here. Now you can see that at present how much area is getting covered by this lamp, what are the plus minus other options. So everything if you want to understand, first of all I'll select this and remember if I just go back to this particular previous page, here you can see show illumination in 2D and if I say OK for this, you can see how much is the area which is getting covered by this light. Now let's try to fine tune, uh, fine -tune this uh, for all the uh, different options like whether it's orientation and it's position and so many things. So first of all in the first page we will try to recollect that the intensity of the light is 100. The fall off option is on and the light density is supposed to be 2 meters. That is not, uh, sorry light distance is supposed to be 2 meter. So this is nothing but your light will get uh, automatically uh, trimmed down after once you complete this 2 meter distance that is it will be almost zero but uh, so this is what you can decide how much area you want to eliminate or get affected by this light if you want to work with a shorter distance span you can work and uh, reduce this later uh, things or the remaining things i am not going to change immediately light color also i'll change but uh, later i'll do that i'll just first of all I'll just see okay for this Okay, now if you go back to your uh, 3D, you can see how this light is working. Of course, in case if you are not able to see that clearly over here, you can definitely try to uh, choose the correct pen number as per your wish, so that at least the comfort zone will be there. So, if you see that 3D presentation and the light color, if you, in case you see, you know, I just want to make it somewhere uh, different than what right now the background is trying to show. So. You can definitely go for that. When I deselect, you can see now my the light how it is getting represented and it's a, a illumination area. So anyway, now the light is pointing downward its location, 
and uh, 2500 so in case if you just go and try to place one section the way i have placed over here and if you open that section you can surely see how your light is actually placed when so it starts from here ends over here that is supposed to be 2500 all together so this is the length of the light which approximately goes for the 2500 and uh, the area for the illumination so anyway i am going to render this display but for that make sure in your render settings you have to check few things um say for example when you going to render either you can select the uh, option from the drop down menu you can just go uh, that is the scene the predefined uh, what you can say settings you can definitely go and select them from this particular combination there are several options which are predefined by archicad side you can definitely choose them right now i'm not going to do any change but i am just going to modify the existing scene so my current scene was a outdoor daylight medium if you just single click you will realize that nothing is going to appear as such because uh, there is no sunlight which can enter inside the room because there are no openings and the other lamp and everything was inactive but if i just try to see that okay my lamps are act, uh, on in my first setting now remember if this dialog is not there in front of you because you are not used the detail setting so please make sure that detail setting is on and then you can see all these particular settings are listed out over here now here what i'm going to do i'm just going to actually uh, do a simple task that my lamps are on but the intensity for the lamp is zero so i'm just going to increase that and make this as a 100 okay so moment you so that is as it is i'm going to use now if i again reclick over here might be i'll see a little bit of the change so this is how my uh, rendered room should look like so anyway just uh, single click and let's go ahead for this at least it should give us some rendered uh, output by the time it gives the render output now what is the next how to get this particular volumetric effect so that's my main intention like the way uh, we used to have in the original image now the image is rendered you can see how it is supposed to be looking so some kind of area light is actually delivered uh, and that too also vertical one but it is not visible at present so that is just because of the some uh, missing elements and what about the other thing why this room is not getting that illuminated comfortably because there is no other uh, light source available if in case you want you can surely add uh, another uh, supportive light so maybe the same area light uh, related setting but only thing the type of the light you which you going to use will be a different one so you can definitely try to use some uh, other light say for example maybe i'll just use a uh, rectangle as a down light and uh, here they have given what should be the illumination angle so i'll try to put somewhere about uh, 150 a little bit a broad one and uh, the setting for the lamp is 250250 it's so quite a huge one so i'll just try to reduce this maybe as a 1 meter uh, all together and let's see how it actually going to improve so this also i'll change i'll just try to keep it as a 2750 so okay 2750 okay so this is what is the location of the lamp and um, fine if you just go and check out the color and all those things the attenuation fall off this i'll increase i'll just try to put this as a 3 then 3 meter the light will survive and uh, i'll just say okay for this if i want to place this to the center of the room i can just use this my snap points and guide and i'll just place it now if i go back to my view and if i render this display again so this time might be i'll get a better uh, what you can say illumination in the room and uh, so saying my room will be more readable than compared to earlier so if you just check out with the earlier uh, this uh, image and this image so you can see a little bit of enhancement in the room now uh, our target is to get this light properly so for that i'm just going to do one more thing i'm just going to select this again and here in the settings you just make sure that when you go for the visible light option here you have to on the visible light when you on the visible light remember 
that you will get this kind of a uh, uh, options are available that visible volumetric and in, uh, inverse uh, volumetric so these are the example which are available as per the setting which you have done in the render so i'll just keep it visible uh, or volumetric volumetric will cast the shadows and everything visible is just to go and create that illusion it is not going to affect so less render time in the first second will be a little bit more uh, in the render time anyway you can decide that so let's go and quickly try to work for this uh, it, uh, the uh, reduce density over distance this is the logic which it is getting utilized and uh, reduction starts uh, from zero and reduction ends at 300 if you don't change anything right now and if you just go and say continue uh, let's see how it works but uh, remember that when you go inside the render settings especially in your render settings uh, apart from these things at the end there is supposed to be one option like there's an option group and there also you check out all the related options are on so uh, visible light is also on so that is something very much important so all these factors which are needful over here you please make sure they are available only then you can demand for some kind of a change in your uh, uh, rendered scene otherwise it will be pretty much same now you can see that's the difference compared to earlier and this so again i'll just place this for a render for a while and uh, till then again we'll come back now here if in case you see that i want to do some changes for example uh, this light should change its uh, color so definitely you can go and hit the color button you can uh, add some kind of a different color for the illumination so here if i just want to put some yellow color i'll just put that maybe intensity you want to little bit make it more so 140 have completed or taken for this i'll just see okay for this till the end uh, see now this is what we have achieved so this looks like as a volumetric light now if you want to control on this for its volume and you want to make it more uh, stronger and readable we can do that um, slightly the settings has to be get fine-tuned especially when it comes to the effects so visible light and here you can see the reduction starts and ends here you can control if i see my reduction starts at 50 and my uh, reduction ends at 300 and if i see okay and if you just try to again uh, render the display so this time again you make sure that the light effect is also changed and there are some other changes are also taken in consideration so this was the earlier progress which we have done so this was uh, no surrounding light only the linear light uh, the linear light was with the some uh, other light also added then uh, volume was created and later with the volume i have just generated this kind of a effect also this was something apart from the volume even the visibility of the light i want to generate so this is what i have uh, created so i hope you have understood this at the first level uh, you can surely copy this light and change its orientation also for example, I have just copied it and kept it at uh, C1500 and then when I go inside my section, uh, you can see now, I can select this and with the handles which are available, for example, if you click on this handle and if you say move and you will see how that particular uh, uh, access uh, for the Z side you can con contribute for or this also you can contribute or this handle if you click you can surely uh, change its uh, position and rotation so uh, this is how i made this as a horizontal so in section you can actually deal with this very quickly then compared to uh, in any other uh, what you can see uh, window that is what is my suggestion so i have just moved it over here and uh, let's try to change its color maybe i am just going to put some different color for the illumination so uh, as per your choice you decide which color you want to go and work for the illumination i'll just take a little bit uh, fluorescent color and uh, that's it you just uh, hit the render button again and uh, because the settings were in your favor so i don't think there was much need to change so immediately after the render you can start getting the improvement so this was supposed to be earlier now this is the second level where I have actually achieved the uh, linear effect and then there is the last option so this is how I think one can surely get uh, beautiful effects uh, in the Archicad 
Uh, for the next step, I'll show you in case if you are willing to go for some glow effect from the objects. Now, this is uh, there was no object. This was just a light uh, lamp tool which you have used to generate the illumination. In the next part, I'll just show you in case if you are going to use some kind of effect with the uh, glowing object.